Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 2 DILR, says that there are 10 objects O1, O2, and so on up till O10. They are distributed among 5 people A, B, C, D, E, you may call them. Each item went to exactly one person. Each person got exactly two of the items. And this pair of objects is called his or her bundle. So each person will get two objects that will be called its bundle. The following table shows how each person values each object. Now, uh, the thing is, the value of any bundle by a person is the sum of that person's values of that objects in that bundle. Okay, so that is called the value. So let us say a person is having 4 and 9, so value will be 13. If a person is having, let's say, 9 and 5, value will be 14 and so on. Now, the next thing here is, which is the most important uh, statement and it makes this set as one of the most difficult sets in CAT DILR which says that a person X envies another person Y if X values Y's bundle more than X's own bundle. Okay, So this uh, statement cannot be understood by the statement itself. One needs to take example for it. So it says that suppose Amar's bundle consists of O1 and O2. So suppose Amar has O1 and O2 and Bharat has O3 and O4. Okay. Now, how will a person envy? A person envies another person if the person values another person's bundle more than own bundle. Okay. So, if you value one person's, so it is like envying in general, right? If you realize that, okay, other person has something better than you, you start envying that person. So, here a person will envy another person if that person's bundle is more. So, let us understand through uh, this example. So, A gives himself a rating of 13. A gives B. Now, B is getting O3 and O4. So, A has given B rating of 12. B has given A a rating of 5 plus 9 that is 14. And B has given himself a rating of 12. Okay. Now, if in this case, A has given himself 13 and to B he has given 12. So, he will not envy B because as per him, B's bundle is less than his bundle. But if you notice B, B has given himself 12 and he has given uh, A the rating of 14. So, B will envy A because as per B, the, uh, the value of A is more than his own value. So, this was a very difficult statement and uh, we will use this condition repeatedly to solve the set that which person envies which other person. Okay. So, that is the concept that if a person is rating other person's bundle more than his own bundle, then that person will envy another person. Okay. Now, we will look at the statements and try to solve it. So, we are given six conditions. The first condition says if someone values an object is 10, then he she receive that object. So, wherever we see 10, that person will receive the object. So, O9 goes to Bharat and O10 goes to Elise. So, we can knock off these numbers. Now, O9 will not go to anyone and O10 will not go to anyone else. So, easy statement to execute. These are two statements that we will skip for now. That O1, O2, O3 were not were given to different people. O1 and O8 to different people. Three people value their own bundles at 16. Three people value their own bundles. Okay, 16. No one values his or her own bundle at a number higher than 16. So three people will value at 16 each. Then Disha values her own bundle at an odd number. So Disha is valuing at an odd number and it says all others value their own bundles at an even number. All others give even number. So, we have three of the numbers as 16, one more even number and one odd number, both of them less than 16. Okay. So, these are the values. So, all others will value at even numbers. Who will value 16? We do not know as of now. Okay. These are two statements that we have used. Last one says, some people who envy uh, value their bundle less than 16, envy some other people who value their own bundle at 16. So, this is an important statement and will be used repeatedly to eliminate the cases. Okay. So, now let us uh, first start with <coughs> these two people 
for whom we know the values. Now, Bharat, if we see 10, Bharat has to make an even number. There should be two even numbers. Another important concept to know is if you add two odd numbers, you get an even number. If you add odd plus even number, you get an odd number. If you add even and even number, then you get an even number. So, very basic number logics. So, Bharat has given himself 10, should give himself an even number. So, these values are not possible for Bharat. Now, if you look 6 and 8, if Bharat gives himself 8, like suppose Bharat gets object O8, his bundle will be 18, which is not possible. So, that means Bharat will get this 6. O7 and O9 will go to Bharat and he will have a total of 16. Okay. So, this object is done. Now, let us do for Elise also. Elise has got 10 and should get another even number to get the total even. So, Elise should get cannot get these ones. Now, same case here also. If you give 8 here, Elise will become 18. So, Elise will not get this also. Elise will get either this 6 or this 6. So, Elise will also have a total of 16 only. Okay. Now, we are left with Charles and Amar. One of them should get 16. One of them should not get a 16. Right. Now, the next thing is which is the most important point here? Some people who value their own bundles less than 16 will envy people who have value as 16. So, some person might envy Bharat and Elise. So, only those, no one else envies others. So, only people who value their own bundle less than 16 will envy people who value their own bundle at 16. So, that is the criteria and we will see that repeated. So, now we know that Bharat has valued himself as 16. If you observe the table, right, O7 and O9 were given to Bharat. Okay. So, Bharat is valuing his bundle as 16. How much is Amar valuing this bundle? As per Amar, this is 17, right. So, A is, this was an example. Now, actual value, if we see, A is giving himself something, an even number, right. So, uh, that could be max 16. But A is giving B a rating of 17, right? A can give himself maximum 16 because that is the maximum we are given. So, but A is giving B 17. That means A and B is B. This last statement is very important and will be used several times in completing the table. Now, A and B is B. Now, if A and B is B, so A cannot have 16, right? So, that will be less than 16 because only those people whose value is less than 16 will envy someone else. So, that means A will not get 16. These are fine. A is less than 16. This means Charles will get a total of 16. Okay. Now, once we have got Charles as 16 and if you look at the values over here, only possibility for Charles is 8 plus 8. Okay. Now, there are four eights available. Charles has to pick two of these eights. Now, these pieces of information will come handy that objects O1, O2 and O3 were given to three different people. So, Charles will get only one out of these values. They are given to three different people. So, Charles get, get only one value. So, Charles will definitely get O8 because he has to make 16 which is 8 plus 8. So, one of the 8 is given. Then, we are left with 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Now, next thing is objects O1 and O8 were given to different people. So, that means Charles cannot get this 8 also. So, Charles will either get O2 or O3. Okay, Charles should get O2 or O3. Now, we will again check the envy case that if Charles get uh, 8, will Charles, uh, will someone envy a uh, Charles or not? So, that is the uh, the interesting part of this set that one had to check this NV case again and again. Suppose Charles gives himself, suppose Charles gets O2 and O8. Now, what will happen in that case? Bharat gives himself a rating of 16 and Bharat will give Charles a rating of 9 plus 8. So, Bharat is giving Charles 
17, right? So that means Bharat envies Charles. But what are we given? We are given that people who value their own bundle less than 16 envy others, but others will not envy. So it means that Bharat cannot envy Charles. This is not possible. So Charles cannot be given object O2. Otherwise, Bharat will envy Charles. So this gives Charles does not get O2. Charles will get O3. So Charles is also done. So we are done with Charles. We are done with uh, uh, Bharat. We need to find for the remaining people. Right. So now Charles has got O3. Now Amar has to get an even number. And even can be obtained by odd plus odd or odd plus even. So Amar cannot get 4 because if Amar is given 4, he will get an odd number total. So Amar cannot get 4. Now we are seeing that O1 and O2 are two possibilities, right? One possibility is, see, uh, if you take Disha as, uh, and also let's say Disha also we need to check this. Disha has to get a total odd. Odd means one odd and another even. So Disha should get one out of the first two values. One even and one odd. So Disha has to get one from these two and one from these three. So that is about Disha. Alice will get one out of these two values and Amar has to get two out of the remaining objects. Now, how are we going to proceed is we will make two cases. First case, let us say Elise gets, maybe we may have multiple cases also. Let us just assume that Elise gets this 6. Okay. So if Elise gets the 6, who will get, uh, uh, Disha will get O2 because Disha has to get one out of these two values. So Disha will get uh, object 8. Okay. Uh, so object 2, that is 8 points. Now, uh, in this case, let us see that, uh, if we consider this scenario, now A will have to get two out of these. So if you see A, A will, uh, let's say, what will A get in this scenario? A will get, A cannot get nine. So A will get, we are talking about this blue case. A will get himself a total of 3 plus 7 is 10 or 3 plus 3 is 6. A will give himself 6 or 10, right? And how much will A give to? How much will A give to D in this case? So A has already given 9 points to D. So it is like an hour. You, we have to check that if A is giving high rating to D. So here A is giving 9 points and no matter which object B takes. So A will give minimum 12 points to D, isn't it? If we take this case that A, uh, we give 8 to Disha. So A is giving 9, uh, 9 value here and minimum 3 here. So minimum 12. Now it means that A is envying Disha. Okay. So A is envying Disha in this case. Now what are we given? Who can envy? A person who has got less than 16 will envy someone who has got 16. Now Disha has not got 16. So that means A cannot envy Disha. Amar cannot envy Disha. So that gives us that our assumption of 6 and 8 is false. So the next thing that we will do is we will give 6 points to Elise. We have given at least 6 points. So this 6 gets knocked off. Now O1 and O2 have to be assigned. O2 can go to Amar only and O1 will go to Desha. Okay. So this is also done. Now we need to check the values among 5 or 3. Okay. Now if you give less value to Desha. Now again we will look at the case where A is giving. Uh, A and D are left. Suppose we give 3 points to Desha okay, and 3 points to Amar. Now what will happen is how much does in this scenario, how much does Desha give to herself? Desha is giving herself 11 and how much is Desha giving to Amar? So if you notice it, Desha is giving 9, 8 plus 5, 13 points to Amar. 
So Disha is rating Amar as 13 and herself as 11. So that means Disha is envying Amar. Now again the case which says that only those person will envy who they have to envy someone who has a bundle rating of 16. Now Amar has a bundle rating of less than 16. So Disha cannot envy Amar. So this envy thing was used four times to finally figure out that the values will be 5 and 3. Okay, so this is how one will solve this set. So very tough set, one of the most difficult sets in CAT history and during the examination it is very difficult to understand this condition and moreover apply it multiple times. So I was lucky, I mean I uh, was able to solve this and it took at least 15 minutes for me to solve this in the examination. But this uh, was seriously a very difficult set and uh, many people would not be even able to attempt it even if they are given infinite amount of time to solve it. Because of this condition, the NV condition and we see that it was applied four times while solving the set. Okay. So now we have got the table and let us answer the questions. So first question says that uh, what can we set about object O8? So object O8 is given to Charles. Okay. So one could have solved partially and probably attempted one or two of the questions. Who among the following envies someone else? So we figured out that Amar envies Bharat. We uh, saw this 7 and 9 are given to uh, Bharat. So Amar rates Bharat as 16, 17 and Amar rates himself as lesser value. So Amar envies Bharat. That's how we figured out that uh, we filled this 10 and 6. We figured out Amar is less than 16 because of this fact. What is Amar's value for his own bundle? So Amar has given himself object 2 and object 6. So Amar's value is 12. Now this was a theta question. We knew that 16 was one of the values. Could have been uh, like one could have done wild guess by putting 14, 12 or 10 sort of things. 16 probably may not have been the answer. So one could have done wild guess in this question. Object O4 was given to whom? So object O4 went to Disha. Object O5 was given to O5 went to Elise. What best can be said about distribution of object O1? So we can see from the table that O1 went to Disha. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.